Okay, so in the, in, in the Balanced View training, uh, it, we offer um, a very simple support structure and one, one practice that introduces you to your basis as a human being and then allows you to gain confidence and stability in that basis. Now, in this training, we call that open intelligence. Open intelligence is the capacity to know. It's been called many things, and you can call it whatever you like. But in this training, we call it open intelligence or opening intelligence. And um, I'm going to introduce you to the experience of open intelligence right now. So if you just stop thinking, right now, just stop thinking, stop describing for a brief moment. What do you recognize in your experience? Obviously, the thoughts come straight back or the sensations come straight back. So do it again. Stop thinking. There's an undeniable presence, an openness, an alertness that's looking through your eyes. It's very easy to recognize when you stop thinking. So this is the introduction to open intelligence. You, you already have what we're talking about here. And the practice, the only practice in balanced view, is to recognize open intelligence for short moments, repeated many times, until it becomes continuous. So if you're new, you can, you can practice this today. Whenever you, whenever you recognize that you're lost in thinking, or just thinking, describing, just stop. Relax and acknowledge open intelligence. What's looking through your eyes, what's listening to me speak. And the term open intelligence, I, I really love. It. I, I open or opening intelligence. It's so, it's so clear that it allows for everything. You know, you've got no idea what the next thought will be, the n no idea what the next sensation will be, or the next circumstance, especially in India, anything can happen. Just waiting for our friends with the drums to start, that usually happens about now. So what you'll start to see is that you, you, you really do have, have uh, the empowerment to recognize open intelligence. You know, it's up to you, like, like we heard in the talk. So, so this, this is the practice of the Balanced View Training. Short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times, become continuous. Now, it's not just that. Because, as, as we, we, we heard in, in one of the great questions, there are still things that come up that are difficult to deal with. Other people, maybe there are, maybe there are certain emotions or sensations that we find very afflictive where short moments is, is, is very difficult, where we can't recognize open intelligence, where we fall back into the descriptions. And so this is the importance of the support network that's offered here in Balanced View. So we have uh, the, the instruction of short moments, then the trainer. So now we're, Balanced View trainers are just normal people. We've just practiced relying on the four mainstays and all we do you share our experience of relying on the support structure of Balanced View. Now, my, my life has changed from being one, uh, basically, a big pile of shit to, to being the most majestic, wonderful, joy-filled... It just makes me... It's just incredible, incredible life. And nothing's changed. Everything about me is still the same. So that might be quite annoying to you to hear something like that. Because <laughs> it was for me in the beginning. Nothing about you needs to change. Everything about you is evidence of perfection and complete exaltation. Now this is the opposite of what you've been told for your entire life. Everyone, everyone has been trained and programmed that they are flawed and that they need fixing in order to feel okay. And so this is the game of life. I'm not okay and I need X, Y and Z to happen in order to be okay. So I, I achieve X, Y and Z and what happens? Well, it's still not enough. I'm not okay. So I need A, B and C as well. And I, get, I, I achieve those and I'm still the same. I'm fat, I'm bored, I'm miserable, I'm English, I don't like my life, I want everything to change. And even if I am able to change everything, it's still obvious that nothing in my experience is giving me what I'm looking for. 
So I don't need to tell you this. The conventional approach to life, which basically, where we treat ourselves and the world like a sorting machine, trying to hold on to what we consider to be positive, trying, trying to get rid of what we consider to be negative, it, it, it's, it's a never-ending task. It will never stop. And so every, most people on the planet are doing this. Now, as a human society, we reflect what we do as individuals. So all of, all of the institutions, all of the organizations, all of, all of the laws that are in place on a global scale reflect this. We want to hold on to the good and we want to eradicate and get rid of what we consider to be negative. So you're very lucky, or we are very lucky as human beings. We have an exact working model of the, entire, the entirety of the human race in, in our experience as individuals. So what that means is, on an individual level, if we're trying to eradicate and, and modify what we consider to be negative, then this is the mechanism by which bigger groups of people try and find stability and well-being. So what happens when a country wants to eradicate the negativity it sees in another country or modify it? One of the most uh, destructive ways, but one that I, you know, you'd have thought we'd have, we'd have learnt by now is to, to drop bombs on people and kill them. But that you see the mechanism is exactly the same. We don't feel okay. We must do something about these negative people in order to feel okay. So that's no different to you as an individual saying, I don't like my depression, I want to eradicate it from my life in order to feel okay. Y you can't do it, for one thing. You will never get rid of depression. You will never get rid of jealousy, you will never get rid of boredom, you will never get rid of anger. The, these, these, these arise spontaneously and, and these are what, what it means to be a human being. So if you're looking for something, a state where none of these things occur, then you automatically exclude yourself from the entire human race. So people like my father and my family, they're not interested in you know, if my father starts moaning about his next door neighbour, if I start to say, your next door neighbour's open intelligence, he's empty of anything other than complete perfection. It's just like the sky and the colour blue. It's like he punched me in the face. <laughs> it's like nobody wants to hear about that. It's, 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 it's pointless. You know, and it's, it's really annoying. You don't, you don't have to explain anything to anyone. The great power of this training is we exemplify the training. So in my experience, I was, I was just a mass of negative states. Depression, anxiety, panic attack, hatred, aggression. I was very, very good at, at being cynical and, and criticizing others and bringing them down to my level, telling them how worthless they were and how worthless life is. And this is, this is the only way I could get relief. Terrible, it's just a, a horrible way to be. Now, when I was introduced to the practice of short moments, what I saw immediately was this negativity. It didn't need to change. It did not need to change. When, it, when anything arose in my experience, I had the opportunity to relax as open intelligence or not, to stop thinking, identify open intelligence and relax. And so that's what I did. And the other practices in Balanced View, and the other support structures of Balanced View, just um, are there to increase that stability. So we can do it again, stop thinking just for a moment. Identify open intelligence, relax as open intelligence. So we have trainings, we have open meetings, <coughs> written books, you can listen to talks, and so you've, you've, done, you've done the perfect thing. When, when, when you find that there are, there are, there are uh, circumstances and, and uh, maybe people in your lives that you cannot recognize open intelligence with, then you use the other supports. And now we, one of the great things about Balanced View is we utilize the latest technology. So now it's possible for people anywhere in the world, as long as you, as long as you have an internet connection. And believe it or not, we have hits on our website from Google Analytics in the middle of nowhere with people with mobile phones in Paddyfield who are downloading little snippets from the training, things like this. 
So wherever you are, it's very easy to take advantage of the support. And this is, this is the only reason we're here, really. I'm not trying to get you to believe a single thing that, that's being said here. But I'm trying to, to encourage you to test the support that's offered and see what happens in your experience. You'll be absolutely amazed. I mean, when I, when I did my uh, 12 empowerments, I went home and uh, I'd been seeking for 20 years and I, all my friends who were seekers, I ran up to them, screaming at them basically, shaking them by the shoulders. There's this thing, it's called the 12 empowerments, you've got to do it, it's all really amazing, it's so simple, it's really, you know, and none of them did it, it frightened them away. <laughs> Now, what's actually happened in my experience now is that, for example, a great example is my father. I didn't tell him anything about this training. I just, like I said, exemplified the training. I rely on open intelligence with all of my negativity. So, so when my father does the things that really annoy me, then I, I, it's up to me to rely on open intelligence or not. I will never, ever get some... I, can, I cannot get anyone else to change in order to fit in with what... I think is making me unhappy. And so this is a, a key instruction if you're in a relationship. I mean, we're all in relationship. And the most important relationship is a relationship with yourself. But if you are in an intimate relationship, your job in an intimate relationship is to bring love and joy and support to the other person without wishing anything in return, without wanting anything in return. And, the, and the, this comes about naturally when you start to recognize that you don't need anything. You do not need anything to change in your life or your experience in order to be more or less okay. You are exalted, you are perfect, and everything in your life, especially the things you don't like, especially the things you've been trying, trying to work on or purify, the, these are, th this is where great bliss and exaltation is located. Now, of course, this is completely the opposite of what you've learned. So the invitation in this training is to test what's on offer here, to see what happens in your experience. Instead of doing something with, say, depression, you just leave it alone. And the way you leave it alone is by using the short moments. So everything that comes up for you is an opportunity to relax and acknowledge open intelligence all of the other support structures in balance view just elicit the experience of what we're, we're describing here. So even now, even if you're brand new, can you see that when something like depression or physical pain comes up, it provides you with an opportunity to recognize open intelligence. So right there and then, there's some benefit to your negative states. I mean, for me, that was amazing. So with my depression that I tried to eradicate for nearly 30 years, I didn't need to do that anymore. I could, I could practice short moments because of my depression. And slowly what started to happen was that I recognized basically the inseparability of all of the, all, all of the experiences in, in, in my life, the emotions, the sensations, the thoughts, and in balanced view we, we just call all of these things data. So the data of my life has become well, I cannot differentiate between that and open intelligence. And that might sound a little strange, but it's actually completely wonderful.